What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we're taking a look at the top 10 Gold Coast Hard Stop Australia Hard Stop Tourist Attractions Parentheses Things to Do. Why didn't you parentheses uh, Queensland? Because we all know what the Gold Coast is. Okay. Well, this video is suggested to us by Tatsky. Thank you so much, Tatsky. We truly appreciate it. Guys, if you want to shout out like Tatsky got and you want to see us react to a video that you want to see us react to, then click the link in our description down below. It'll take you over to our Discord and you can throw the links to the videos you want us to check out in there. You know what I'm proud of? What? We get very few suggestions in our comments, but we get a ton of suggestions in our Discord. Yeah. It took a long time to like build that. Yeah, like, no, it used to be solely, direction. solely comments. Nobody ever like threw them in our Discord. But thank you guys for interacting and doing that because it definitely helps us out in finding the actual suggestions guys before we hop into this video if you would go ahead and give us a thumbs up it truly helps us out in getting these videos out to more people truly truly or wait until the end and give us a thumbs down it also helps us get these videos out to more people also if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon that way you guys can stay informed on our future videos and if you'd like to help support the channel even more and get an exclusive exclusive youtube short shout out click the join button down below 10 Best Places to Visit in Gold Coast, Australia I love computer voices. One of the most iconic destinations in Australia, the glittering Gold Coast can be found just an hour's drive. This is just my favorite thing to look at. Like I said before, we did a video, I guess it's been two days now. Uh, yeah. uh, and this is very Miami-esque. Yeah. And it's just super awesome. I, I mean, I could only... Like, Something like this. Mm, oh, stupid expensive. I'm guessing ten million dollars. Or like that one on that side with the This one right here? Yeah. With the baby yacht going mm -hmm. on or whatever. I mean, these are all probably two hundred thousand dollar boats. I don't know. I don't know no. anything about boats. Way more. <laughs> you think probably, I I would imagine if you're I sitting there you you've got a very expensive boat. I have no idea. I'm I'm dumb when it comes to boats. <laughs> like people are talking about I'm boats. I'm just dumb. <laughs> yeah. Now, is that a house? I don't know. That is ridiculous if that's a house. It's a beautiful spot. Five Very south beautiful. of Brisbane, along Queensland's scenic coastline. Renowned for its wonderful white sand beaches oh, yeah. and year-round warm weather, it is the perfect place to holiday with something for everyone in the, the family holiday. to enjoy. The Gold Coast the sparkles with high-rise hotels and high-speed roller coasters. I think I'm, you're right. After that's you've the hit the muster style. attractions, there's still plenty more to discover. From poolside clubs to modern museums, here are 10 best places to visit in Gold Coast, Australia. 1. Surfers Paradise Beach The most popular place to head in town though is undoubtedly Surfers Paradise, which is renowned for its beautiful beaches, pounding nightlife and innumerable rise apartment buildings. Pounding nightlife? Often called the yeah. capital of the Gold Coast, it is one of the largest tourist destinations in Australia so with millions of Aussies and international visitors alike descending upon the area every year. While many high school graduates head to surfers for its bars and nightclubs, families visit too for its endless array of attractions. Its main draw, however, is its broad beach which reaches 2 kilometers in length and offers stupendous swimming, sunbathing and surfing. Widely considered as one of the best beaches in Australia, Surfers Paradise Beach is definitely not to be missed when in town. 2. Sky Point Observation Deck I would love to live on the top floor of that. What if it's the observation deck? I'd live on the observation deck. <laughs> For the best views is. imaginable over the city and its surroundings, make sure to oh, head dope. to the Sky Point yeah, Observation Deck in terrifying. the center of town. The lofty deck with its huge glass windows is set on levels 77 and 78 of the Q1 building, which was once the tallest residential tower in the world. It's a residential tower. Located 230 meters off the ground, it offers simply spellbinding panoramas. Is there a restaurant on the observation deck? That'd be nice. So let me know. Okay, so first of all, do you live in this tower? And second of all... If you've lived there or if you currently live there, does it drive you nuts that people are like tourists are going in and out of that? That would drive me absolutely nuts. And if you're comfortable sharing, what do you pay to live there? 
What's your rent? Yeah. Or, or did you buy it? Or whatever. I don't know if they do one or the other. So. Right. I would, well, actually in downtown Dallas, the high rises like this are obviously not this big because I don't think there's any this big in Texas or in Dallas anyways. Uh, I did look at one. One was a, a, a suite. It was like five, five million, I think. Yeah, you have to buy them. Yeah. Sip on a cocktail I mean, a big or enjoy apartment. a tasty brunch at the deck's busy bistro and bar. That's gorgeous. Visitors are also able to walk 40 meters further up on the exhilarating Skypoint climb that hugs the exterior of the building. Three, Corumban Wildlife Sanctuary. The excellent Corumban oh, Wildlife beautiful. Sanctuary is certainly the place to go for a close-up look I'll at koalas, kangaroos and crocodiles. Set right next to Corumban Beach, it has a vast array of animal exhibits, as well as live shows, feeding sessions and unforgettable encounters with its cute critters. That'd be dope. First opened in 1947, so the sanctuary now boasts one of the largest collections of Australian wildlife in the world. He's so little. There are wombats and wallabies, as well as emus, dingoes and Tasmanian oh, devils. They're eagle. See the colorful lorikeets that flock to the sanctuary twice daily to be fed, stroll through the largest walk through aviary in the southern hemisphere or see lemurs, tamarins and red pandas in its lost valley section. So that would be like a top thing I'd want to do. Absolutely. Is to go there. Absolutely. That would be so dope. Four. I love animals. Springbrook National Park. Home to stunning scenery and nature, oh, the gorgeous. picturesque Springbrook National Park is situated southwest of the city. Amidst its lush, got a really steamy rainforests, you yeah. can find towering cliff faces, twinkling rivers and waterfalls, and hiking trails and lookouts hidden away among the dense undergrowth. Protected as a park there. since 1990, it is centered around the massive plateau of no the ancient, idea there was extinct, that many and partially woods. eroded Tweed volcano. As such, gigantic gorges and dramatic rocky outcrops rise up from amidst the rainforest. Now, That's what's such funny, a huge though, area. This reminds me a lot of like Tennessee, like yeah. the the mountain, because they have a lot of this type of stone where it just drops off, mm -hmm. and then you got these rolling, I would say, like foothills almost. Um, I mean, I don't know if y'all classify these as mountains, but I think in the U.S. we'd classify these as foothills, uh, usually building up to a actual mountain. Um, but this reminds me a lot of Tennessee, Kentucky type stuff. Right. That's the, super grown up though. Like that's that, I mean, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Here this would be prime hunting land. Yeah. Canopy. The striking purling brook falls and natural bridge, its waterfall and glow worm filled cave count among its standout sites. Glow worm filled five. Caves. Burley Heads Beach. After Surfer's Paradise, Burley Heads Beach is definitely the most popular in town uh, thanks just to both its beautiful. superb swimming yeah. and surfing. Just 15 minutes drive southeast of the center, it's warm and well- You know what's funny? Hmm. This is the least clear water we've seen and it's still insanely clear. And it's probably just because it's overcast. <laughs> probably, or the hard, like the waves are heavy or yeah. something like that. Either way, it is still beautiful. I'd still be more than happy to spend time in it. Yeah. And you got the surfers on the right. I bet you that's why it's not as clear. It's mm -hmm. because they have big swells. Right. Bro, did you hit that swell, man? Welcoming sand stretch over two kilometers in length with a park, <laughs> cafes, and restaurants that's lying like an alongside American it. Surfer. I don't know if as they do the that shape thing. of the burly headlands protects the beach from southerly winds, Bruh, there is always a calm gorgeous. and quiet spot where you can swim or splash about, with lifeguards being on duty year round. Surfers, however, will instead want to ride the iconic Burley Barrel while pristine nature, wildlife and walking trails can be found in the beautiful Burley Heads National Park to its south. 6. Warner Bros. Movie World Do we know this? Warner Bros. Movie World lies 20 so. minutes Warner drive Bros. northwest of the center, right next to Wayneville Gold Coast. We as seen well this. as movie-themed shows and rides, it has float-filled parades and seasonal events for visitors to enjoy while costumed characters roam about amidst its crowds. The only film-related theme park in the country, it first opened in 1991 and has been a success ever since. Aside from trying out exhilarating rides and roller coasters, such as right? the enormous DC Warner Brothers. Rivals Warner Brothers. Hypercoaster and thrilling Batman Space Shot, families can check out the kids' W. 
what's the one that's in? I think it's Warner Bros. Is what I'm thinking of. Or no, not Warner Bros. But uh, Universal. Where uh, the one over in Orlando next to? Yeah, it's Universal. Yeah, where they have like I was about to ask, do y'all have the the Harry Potter world? Because that this is dope though. I didn't oh know, yeah, I didn't know they had this. I didn't either, and we don't, I don't think we have anything Warner Bros. Mm-mm. I don't think so. You be fun zone. Stop off for a bite to eat at one of its Actually, food outlets six or watch a film at the Warner Roxy Bros. Theater. Mm-hmm. Seven. He's got the Batman and everything. Yeah. Pacific All the Fair. different heroes. Outback Steakhouse. Another fabulous spot to shop. Go back. Dine and right there. I think it's kind of funny. Are your guys' Outback Steakhouses um, more authentic than what ours is? But all, Outback Steakhouse, I want to say, started in like Indiana or some stupid yeah. part yeah. of the country. No, it's here. an American Steakhouse, if I'm not mistaken. And it's funny, my uh, somebody came into my dealership and was looking at an RV and we were talking about it. They were like, we went to Outback and they were, she was like, it was so horrible. I think Was that, it the Australian lady? Because no. we had some Australian customers a few days ago. I know who you're talking about, yeah. But no, it was somebody... Uh, more recent than that, and uh, she was. Uh, I've I've actually talked to a few Australians at our mm-hmm. dealership a couple times, and some of them actually follow us. Um, but she was uh, she was just like it was horrible, and I was like I know I went there once recently, not long ago, probably within the last six months, and it is garbage. I think they got some pretty good uh, uh, bread and butter. Their toast well, that doesn't take a whole lot of effort. It's pretty solid. Nothing like Texas Roadhouse. No, Texas Roadhouse has the best. They got that honey butter. Yes. Mm. And you can buy that. I know. Yeah. Pacific Fair. We're fat. (laughs) Another fabulous spot to shop, dine, and go out in the Gold Coast is the massive Pacific Fair shopping mall. This is dope. Home to 400 stores, it has an elegant and attractive design with cooling water features and lush green spaces dotted about its sprawling site. Since being established in 1977, the shopping center has grown with its endless array of shops now selling everything from cosmetics and accessories to high fashion clothing and iconic luxury items. Besides shopping, That's till you drop, beautiful. you can it enjoy is. a delicious meal or drink at any one of its numerous cafes and restaurants, and its large cinema complex screens all the latest releases. 8. Coolingatta Beach. Coolingatta. The southernmost suburb in the city, Coolingatta. Are these uh, Coolingatta Beach? People. These flags right here—is that y'all's like safety flags, letting people know like? Oh, good question. The water is safe to swim in, or does it have to do with possibly winds maybe? or or uh, dangerous wildlife? Is that what y'all use those flags for? Not that specific color, but the flag itself. That's a great question. The southernmost suburb in the city, Coolingatta and its idyllic beach lie half an hour's drive from the center, right on the border mm-hmm. with New South Wales. Renowned for both its gorgeous golden sands and lovely chilled out vibe, it has lots of excellent outdoor activities for visitors to enjoy with plenty of beachfront bars and restaurants to be found in the area. As it is bordered to the north by the popular Kira Point, Amateur and expert surfers alike descend upon the beach for its brilliant breaks and barrels. To its south, you can instead find the prominent Rainbow Bay lookout which boasts breathtaking views out over the glinting ocean and city in the distance. I love water. With splendid sunbathing, (laughs) swimming and snorkeling also to be had, it is no wonder that Coolingatta Beach appeals to both locals and tourists alike. 9. SeaWorld no way. One of the Gold Coast's top it. draws, SeaWorld is situated on the Southport Spit, some 15 minutes drive from the center. Home to a staggering array of amazing marine mammals, it has a myriad of entertaining and educational attractions to enjoy with live shows, talks, and demonstrations. One thing that sucks, though, and, and it's good that it sucks. Like, it's kind of like a, a, a sucks, but it's good, is that they got rid of uh, Shamu mm-hmm. from all the parks and stuff like that. Um, like that was something that I actually enjoyed because they have one in the town that I grew up in, San Antonio. So whenever we'd go back and visit San Antonio from Tennessee, I didn't grow up. I was born there. Uh, we'd go back and I always remember Shamu and stuff like that. We did take the boys or not the boys, Thaddeus, when he was a baby, I would say like when he was like two or three to SeaWorld in San Antonio and he loved it. I've never been. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Regularly taking place. 
First opened in 1971, its spacious tanks and pools are now home to everything from penguins and polar bears to sharks, stingrays and seals. As well as learning about the incredible creatures, <laughs> you can also swim with dolphins and seals on one of its unforgettable oh, animal encounters. In addition, SeaWorld has fun rides and roller coasters for you to try with scintillating so stunt cute. shows and interesting animal demonstrations that also being on offer. So refreshing. It does. Ten. I just <laughs> Tambourine Mountain. Wow. That's While the gorgeous. city is mostly known for its wonderful white sand beach. They've got a lot of like Forest. forests surrounding the yeah. area out here. I had no idea. I didn't either. Cheers. Superb surf spots it. and endless entertainment options. It also lies just a stone's throw from the spellbinding scenery and nature of Tambourine Mountain. In just 40 minutes, you can find yourself atop the plateau, hiking amidst its lush rainforests, past That's sparkling gorgeous. waterfalls and enjoying dazzling views out over its surroundings. In addition to exploring the pristine wilderness of Tambourine National Park and seeing some of its wildlife, you can also go for an epic canopy walk through the rainforest or check out the magical glowworm caves. I'd enjoy doing that. To I think I could off, actually enjoy that. The area that. is also known for its that delicious local produce and fine wineries with lots of art galleries, cafes and shops to be found along the gallery walk. So yeah, I think for some reason I could actually get behind doing something like that, even though I'm afraid of heights. So let us know if... This is a good representation of a top 10 tourist attraction or things things to do. Because these all seem like really cool things to do. So uh, we might even have to check out the top 10 uh, Sydney best places to visit. Maybe the top 10 and Tasmania. Maybe if somebody wants to sponsor us, we can actually do videos of these top 10 places in every town. Be a heck physically. Of a yeah, like literally. Well, phys physically. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Physically. <laughs> like in person. Right. Yeah. However, no, you're supposed cool. to say that. Yeah. Either way, this was beautiful. I think, so we did a video, what was it? Two videos ago? The, the, uh, the Skylines? Yeah. Yeah. Two video go, videos ago, and I didn't really know which one I liked the best. There's just something about the way that the Gold Coast is set up. Mm -hmm. It looks just amazing. Like, obviously, it looks like. You have to be a very much a one percenter in the world. Yeah. One percent of the one percenters to be able to afford it. But it's absolutely beautiful. I, I could definitely see myself waking up every single day to that. Place. Oh, I agree. I mean, if I if you had an ideal place to live, it'd be somewhere like that. Or, oh, and somebody said in the comments, by the way, that I have a thing for every Australian girl. That's probably true. <laughs> That's not hard to believe. I, I'm Every girl that I've seen almost on this video, on these videos, they're all Oh, beautiful. everybody we react to? Yeah, yeah, the Australian girls, golly. Uh, yeah, no, ideally somewhere like this or the Philippines would be where I would want to wake up. I think just because I don't want to have to deal with culture shock every single day, I'd have to pick Australia. Just for the convenience factor. I don't know, the, the, it's a tough one. Yeah. No, no, it could go both ways, absolutely. But like I said, I mean, the money factor, 100% the Philippines. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100% the Philippines. We could go and be rich right now. Yeah. Uh, but Australia, we could go and be completely broke. But <laughs> at least we won't feel completely lost. Because everybody that we've seen on these videos are like, it's very Americanized. Right. So it's like, we just might not understand everybody's accent. Yeah. Especially the, the Bogans, right? Yeah. So, but anyways, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you have other videos, just like this top 10 Sydney, Australia, best places to visit, these kind of videos, please let us know. Link to our Discord is down in the description. Uh, but guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see our future videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And if you want to support us directly, hit that join button. With that being said, my name is Miles. And my name is Fed. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out.